How's Doesn't that just inspire confidence? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Whatever. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Probably. So we're officially in uh, in mailbag. And first things. Wow, first, we got there in a hurry. Yeah, we did. I barely seated my belt lap strap thing. <laughs> all closed, locked. Please put your tray in your mouth and shut the hell up. <laughs> <A> tough night. <laughs> um, we've got new. Yeah, no, I, for those of you wondering, no, I'm not hungover. No, he's not. He's just more, a, more is the pity. <laughs> no, when was the last time you were hungover? Let me think about. It. I'm trying to think. It was it was quite a few years ago. The last time I was hungover, I might have been at. Uh, it might have honestly. Was it the Long Island iced tea incident? Was it? No, it might have been a K mom. Oh, really? Really? No. Yeah. Softball game after. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It was hot. I was thirsty. We'd had a good game, and it was three two beer, which goes down so smooth. And so fast. And so quickly. In those little mm. small glasses, it was just... Yeah. Zoom. Blug, blug. And rounds were flying, and I felt fine. Until you did The next day, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> the fork was interesting, shall we say. Three, two beer hangovers suck. They really do. <laughs> there is nothing quite like being hungover. And I was actually hungover when I woke up at 2 in the morning, 2.30, oh. to go to work. Did you feel like we did that time we both got sick the same day and I had to sit at your house for a few hours before I could Oh, yes. Home? Yeah, okay. Oh. Stomach cramps, heads pounding. Oh. The bathroom's not available often enough. Oh. Well, there you... That there, was a long time ago. Man. Those are kind of the highlights of... <laughs> Our careers. Yeah, that was pretty yeah. weird, though, because I was a K-mom. That would have been, what, 30 years ago? More than 30 years yeah. ago, More almost? Than four, yeah. yeah. No, I've had to been hungover since then. Yeah, I, I, I was, I, but it wasn't my fault. It was Scott Reppert's fault. But luckily, I was I was drunk, and I don't remember it. <laughs> so that's good. So let's take your formerly drunken self and say hello to a few people, shall we? Hi, a few people. Conflict monitor. Why does that sound like some sort of weird lizard? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, there's a trend here. You'll see it. Okay. Just a second. But conflict monitor is a new subscriber. So Really? Yeah. yeah. Good to see you. Here's Jesus. the thing. I can't always mention all subscribers because some keep themselves, keep the Anonymous. name private. Yeah. So, but kind of I would. does not. Obviously. see any anonymous, one of them is me. <laughs> okay. Um, say hello to South Baltimore Lonely Rebel. Dude, you are. Well, you're in South Baltimore. It can't be all that lonely, but. <laughs> right? There was and a. By extension, we were talking hello about, to everybody I know in Baltimore, and that includes Coop. We are talking about. How in the South, certain denominations that I belong to have a bit more casual bent to them? Yes. Because it's the South, which I don't buy. I just think the pastors take take it easy at times. Yeah. Anyway, that being said, <laughs> pastor looks at me and goes, and the best part is um, there's a church just like that in Hastings. Of course, that is South Minnesota, so I'm guessing it applies. <laughs> Snow. Yeah. And say hello. <laughs> Say hello to. Uh, well, I'm glad that cough. I got to get you that cough switch. Do we have one? I have one for you. I don't actually know how to turn this off without, you know. You want me to bring you one tomorrow? No, we'd have to put it in then, and I can only hang out with you for short periods of time. <laughs> lunch is enough, he says. That, well, it depends what we have. <laughs> yeah, right now, lunch sounds really bad. <laughs> well, let's see how it looks tomorrow about it, noon. I hope. <laughs> um, say hello to Paul Winston. Paul, do you know that you taste good like a cigarette should? He does, although I'm not going to go around sucking on Paul just to find <laughs> out. <laughs> you made me. What can I say? I, you made no, me. No, your mom and dad. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I'm not taking the blame for this. Remember the time we woke them up uh, to ask them a question about my birth on the air? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to thank God that it was on the phone. And I do mean thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, back channel from Patrick Reed. Back? Dude, you could just walk in the front door. No one would. Well, I suppose you don't want to be seen doing that. So, right, okay. Well, talking to me yeah. especially, but this is the, how Patrick and I communicate. I wear a mask when I go in. And uh, he uh, he went to YouTube to listen Usually to Usually I wear the clown. Sometimes I use Frankie. Can you tell? I just watched Two Guns. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, he went to YouTube to listen to the song Ian released. Yes. Um, you know, was, on, oh, wait, 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 before you do anything. Yeah, yeah. E, baby. 
Respect, man. That was good. I liked it. It's Excellent. not my second favorite song. Second favorite version of that. Very of which, good. As I looked on YouTube, they're like um, 422,000 versions. <laughs> I didn't realize Life in a Northern Town was that exciting. It was a big hit. I lo- I've always I love loved it. that song. See, and I still think Dreamweaver would have had the big hit with it. Mm-hmm. Dreamweaver? Yeah. You know, the folks who did it originally, Dreamweaver. Dream Academy. No, that was a song by Dreamweaver was name? by Gary Wright. Oh, so I've got them flippity. You've got them misjuxtaposed. That would still be the best version if it wasn't mixed like a early 80s song. That's exactly what Ian said. If it was mixed like a 90s song mm-hmm. where the drums were brought up and the mm-hmm. bass... Drums have to be big. Bass has to be bigger. Guitars can back the hell off. <laughs> okay, we know you're there. You look very pretty. And oh my gosh, those riffs are spectacular. Yeah, everyone thinks you're very pretty. That's right. He's up. I mean, we've already gone through Eddie Van Halen and Peter Frampton. There have been just, a few. You just reminded me. We did the Halloween show. You want to buy them all shirts? The weekend before. I thought uh, you were going to be here for Halloween. No, 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 no. It's the night before Thanksgiving we're going to be oh, there. Oh, Thanks- so I was there last night for no reason. It was, shut up. <laughs> we're, we were at 201 in Anoka, the Halloween capital of the world. Why? Of all the things you want to be, I want to be an astronaut. I want to be Batman. <laughs> I, really I want to be the Halloween capital of the world. Well, they take it pretty seriously over they there. They do. The costumes, some of them do. Some of the costumes are incredible, but I had a young, first time in, what, 30, 40 years? Some young lady said, uh, I'd like to take you home. <laughs> and I said, sure, I'll call my wife. If she says, okay, we're there. And she got this look on her face like, you're a real jerk. <laughs> you couldn't just say, oh, that's sweet. I have a daughter your age. Yeah. Or better yet, now at our age, I have a yeah. granddaughter your age. <laughs> <laughs> right? It was just, huh. huh. That's weird. I also stopped to fight. So that if was I good. Do. Uh, two guys were... Oh, you stopped the fight. I stopped the See, fight. when you say I stopped to fight, it sounds like you were <laughs> part of the fight. Well, Nearly was. So I should be home, but I yeah. don't understand if I'm a few minutes late. I waddled out the back door on my... You know, because we all know that snout didn't happen by act. <laughs> that is not a God-given snout. <laughs> we were loading out the back the back way, and there's uh, this two is, guys... by the way. Yeah. <laughs> One guy's going... Well, come on, step over here and prove it. And the other guy's going, I don't need to prove anything was, to you. And I said, there alcohol involved. Oh, you think it was Halloween mm-hmm. in Anoka? Well, it was Anoka. And uh, well, it was. I I look at the I look at the other guy. And Actually, you could have stopped it. Well, he's he's going, I uh, I don't have to prove anything to you. And I looked at the other guy who's this, you know, spindly nine foot tall white kid. And I looked at him and I said, and first thing I did was go. And the girls standing there all started giggling. And the kid gives me a look, and I finally said to him, look, son, this is a really bad idea. I'm about to load out through here, and you need to move. And he goes, he goes, load out. What does that mean? I said, I'm in the band. I'm going to be loading out my heavy equipment right here. And if you're here, I'm going to load out right over top of you. And he looks at me like, what? And I said, I reached up, patted him on the chest. I said, don't be here when I get back. And I walked off. Came and they back there. They weren't there. There you go. And the young ladies were still there. I said, those two young idiots figure it out. And they go, yeah, they de-escalated real quick after you passed by. I said, good. See, that's all it takes, by the way. Nine times out of ten. Yeah. It's it's up. not because I bartended for a couple of years. It's not yeah. a great act of heroism that stops a, a drunk from fighting. It's a moment. Yeah. Yeah. Think for just a second in his and drunken stew and it's over. Yeah. I, I told him several times this is a bad idea. This is just a bad idea. Just go home and enjoy the rest of your night. The 10th time you don't want to be there. Yeah, right. But I was serious about the, I'm going to load out right over top of you. Uh, get we're coming through here. Way. So if you're here, guess what? Yeah, I'm going to. So the kid and the kid could have invited him to help, I suppose. <laughs> I could. I could. The other oh, kid I'm was sorry. pretty cool. I wasn't even. Now, how did we get here from life in a northern town? I can't recall. <laughs> No, anyway, it was it was Patrick says ago. he went to YouTube to listen to Ian's song, yep. which is Life, Life in a Northern, Northern Town by Ian Andrew Combs. You can look it up on YouTube. You don't even need that much. If you can, if you can spell Combs and Life in a Northern Town, <laughs> you're there. It'll at least be near the top. He says, is that him smoking the cigar? Yep. I cannot believe how time has flown. Yeah. Give him my very best. 
You know, I had the same same uh, same reaction when his kids were in. Uh, Patrick and I were talking on Zoom. Yeah, and, and they it, wandered it, by. His boys were, you know, Rob and Fab uh, wandered by. And, it's a Milli Vanilli reference. Yeah, um, and uh, and I, they sing I, well though. They were <laughs> they were adults. <laughs> Holy crap! See, that's the scariest part, man. Because like Sunday, two days ago, yeah. was the twenty eighth of october yep 40 years ago i was having my youngest son being born well i wasn't robin was actually doing most of the work yeah i was really walking around like see what i did (laughs) never mind he does the same thing when he does something good in the bathroom too so and his wife is 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 um i listen elena if you're listening this is just for humor's sake and if you're not listening it's all true okay Um, i'm putting this down no she's a sweetheart i love her dearly she is she has given me two great grandsons and has married my son, which means she, like my wife, can put up with a lot of stupid in a very small package. They're going to be in heaven before they die. You They're know? already there. I'm pretty sure there's. It's. I mean, I realize the whole theological thing, but honestly, there the are cherubim and seraphim already. Yeah, yeah, it's awfully nice. So she's planned this whole big party, and I looked at it, and I looked at Rob, and I go. Okay, you know how older parents always seem to do less with their kids than younger parents? Energy levels, right? Yeah, yeah. We used to take our kids everywhere. I remember. You You taught us to take them everywhere. Yeah. Well, you weren't that much older when you had your two. No. No. But we were still basically younger parents. We were in our 20s. Yeah. And my son is now 40 and has his his second son is six months old. It took (laughs) him a while to find Elena. Um, I think personally she was in in WITSEC. (laughs) <laughs> um just keep me away from the Verkenis clan. Unfortunately, she came out at the wrong time of year. There was hockey and there you are. <laughs> um but and he says in older parents, the studies show, don't. They tend to just get a sitter and go out and do something with yep. other adults or just stay home. Yep. So we're at this party and I'm thinking, huh. All these faces that look familiar, but I couldn't put names with them. So I had to have my daughter sit next to me. Yeah. Or is that no that? Okay, then. Okay, fine. Wow. Um, two ex girlfriends showed up, I think. Oh, how sweet. Yeah, that was weird. Um, <laughs> we only we only pointed one out. Only one went to see Eric. The other one gracefully didn't, and because otherwise he'd have been unbearable. Um, look at that. Even though I married with two children, the exes still come to celebrate my day. No. Yeah, dude, that's ooh, exactly dude. what he'd do too. Yeah, that's exactly. And I they're they're it. feeling sorry for Elena. That, that just exactly so you know. they're commiserating dude yeah. I'm, I'm sorry you won yeah. I, or Oof. i guess i'm sorry you lost depending how you look yeah. at it but it was just like the parties and stuff we used to go to when we had the kids right you saw you know anywhere from one and a half to three and a half year old kids flying in weird places adults had better be watching because they weren't and the two lead prospects were were my grandson the finn mm-hmm. and then my granddaughter's other brand new cousin See, they wanted cousins all those years, right? So Finn is three. Yeah. And just slightly younger than Finn is is Elmer, who's who's Jake's brother's kid. Oh, okay. Elmer. I was and going, wait a minute. You're younger than like one of Eric's almost kids. Sa- he's almost the same size as as, as Finn. Yeah, well, you gotta remember, Eric is Yeah, but they figure the they're hoping my grandson will, will top out around six, six one. That would be Without a doubt, the tallest for Kenneth I've ever met. Uh, yeah, that's not in happening. my family because mom wasn't and dad wasn't, and I was. Well, I was close. I was within eight inches. Um, Neither of my sons is as tall as me. Really? Yeah. Not even Drew. Not even Drew. He's a little Looks taller like- than his mother. That's about it. But anyway, so yeah, it's been. It was the same party we went to with kids. Huh. And now I've got a whole another. You know, they're saying, "Oh, that was that so and so." I haven't seen her since Kara's quit when Kara graduated and there was no more swimming. Right. Really? Oh, yeah, she had a couple kids. Up. She lives up north of <laughs> That's very nice. And my wife knew all this. I'm the idiot. I'm sorry. Anyway. Yeah, welcome to it. Um, apropos of episode seven four eight. Yes. My brother, Chris Combs, no relation. In an attempt to garner pity points. Chris is looking to garner pity points, or you did? Uh, he is trying to garner pity points. Uh. Hey, Scott, just wanted you to know there is poetic justice. I was watching this episode when I went to rub my right eye. 
Apparently, there was some residual sea salt left on my fingers for from breakfast. <laughs> my eyes started burning so terribly, I can imagine what you were going through. I found the bottle. <laughs> I found the bottle of eye drops I meant to give you. Yeah, meant, meant you handed me nasal spray, you dink brain. He meant to give you eye drops. <laughs> he used about half of the bottle to wash out his eyes. Some 20 minutes later, my eyes still red and sore, but not burning anymore. Mine burned for hours. I woke up with salt crystals in my eyeballs. Yeah. I heard of a great story, by the way. Yeah. From a friend of mine. Oh, yeah? Who said, apparently you cannot wash your hands good enough after working with jalapenos mm, mm -mm. to rub your eye. Mm -hmm. And Jill knows what she's doing. Mm. Well, she's apparently. correct. Yeah. You wear she found it, out, found it out the hard way. Yep. And finally, from This is True Really News. Tell me this is not a preacher finally that this goes on for another half hour. 746. In episode 746, I had a story about uh, penguin poop. Yes, you did. Involving the uh, chin strap penguins and yes, the LA did. penguins. Yeah. From Patrick Reed, our man in Liverpool. 60 kilo Pascal penguin poop. No wonder they need a chin strap. You know how you see them sliding in that ice all the time? You thought <laughs> they were hills? <laughs> <laughs> it's propulsion. It's like the penguin from, or actually, it's like from Batman. Batteries to power. Flashlands to speed. Hey, okay, ready to turn. 